This is going to be a short video on the Pittsburgh decision rule for clinicians to decide which cases of knee injury require an x-ray. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Similar to the Ottawa knee rules, the objective of the Pittsburgh decision rule is to evaluate which cases of knee injury require radiographic imagery and subsequently reducing the number of unnecessary and costly x-rays. The Pittsburgh decision rule was developed in 1994 and has been evaluated with sensitivities ranging between 77 to 100% and specificities of 57 to 79%. Take a look at the following diagram outlining the process. Now if you see a patient with a reported fall or blunt trauma, in combination with either age younger than 12 or older than 50 years old, or an inability to walk four full weight-bearing steps, the decision rule is 100% sensitive and 79% specific for the detection of fractures. Chung et al. from the year 2013 compared the Pittsburgh decision rule to the Ottawa knee rules and found it to be significantly more specific in the detection of fractures at the knee joint. Now I mentioned the Ottawa knee rules in this video, so if you like, check them out on the left or start our knee assessment playlist. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. You can follow us on various social media outlets down below or visit our website at physiotutors.com. This was Andreas for Physiotutors. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.